How do we navigate between attunement and habit? How does this awareness or lack thereof play out in the objects we choose to share space with? Lauren Flynn's installation of large-scale mobiles, interactive artist books, and resting sculptures creates a quiet yet active space for contemplation. Each mobile contains objects from Flynn's life that just narrowly avoided being thrown away. She sought out similar objects from friends, asking them for things that have that tiny hint of purpose to potentially become something. Governed by weight, the mobiles are fixed but change slowly over time. Flynn is interested in objects that are open to movement or suggest the potential for movement, but that also respond to the movement of our bodies. Flynn's artist books echo that same sentiment as readers turn the pages, folding the sculpture back in on itself. It can be read in a linear form, but also allows the narrative to be disrupted, simultaneously expanding and contracting space between the words and images. This building and collapsing of space relates to Flynn's conceptual interest in spandrels, the unplanned spaces, like the space we find beneath the stairs, or the triangular-shaped space between arches, that are formed by the edges of intentional architecture. She sees spandrels as pockets of possibility, relishing in the moments found in making where a set of rules or intentions gives way to something unsure and quivering with expectation. In Flynn's own words, quote, all of the best things I make are those made in pursuit of another thing. I am fascinated by gaps, by the dotted line, the incomplete square, not as exercises which can be overcome by the mind, but as means of resisting closure. This is very much what I strive for as I make, for a quiet potential, an object or image that is hovering between being and becoming.